I'm going to go over Spiral 1 Topic 1 test. All right. So if we look here, we have negative 6 minus 3. So that's going to equal negative 9. Negative and more negative, negative and more negative. And here, negative 5 times negative 1. So we know negative times a negative equals a positive. So we have positive 5. Then 3 over 5 times 5 over 6. Let's see if this works. 3 over 5 times 5 over 6 equals 0.5. So let's break that down a little more here. I'll do some writing. So we have 3 over 5 times 5 over 6. So when you multiply, we go straight across as such. So equals 15 over 30. Now if we reduce that, it reduces to a half, which gives us the 0.5. So this one here, we have 10, positive and negative, so it's a negative, minus 4, a negative and negative is a positive, so you have plus 16. So the way I think about it, I go 10 plus 16 is 26. 26 minus 4 is 22. Here, we have a divide, division on the bottom, so let's do the top and the bottom before we mix it. So we have negative 6 plus 8 times negative 3. So we have to do that 8 times negative 3 first. So it's going to be negative 6, 8 times 3 is 24, positive times negative is negative, so we have negative 24 over 11 minus positive 5. So 11 minus 5 is going to be 6. And this one here, we have a negative and negative, so it's going to be more negative. So it's going to have negative 30 over 6 which we can reduce that to negative 5. Since th 6 goes into 35 times, a negative divided by a positive is a negative. So we have a fraction, so we need that fraction, we need a common denominator. In this case, the common denominator is going to be 28. If you don't know what it's going to be, you just multiply the 4 this denominator times this denominator, and likewise back and forth. So here we're going to go times 7, and here we're times by 4. So that gives us 21 over 28 minus times 4, 8 over 28. Now the denominator stays the same, and up here we're going to get is that 13? 13 over 28. Now, here, negative 3 to the power of 4, that's the same as saying negative 3. Since the, the 4 is attached to the negative 3, it's negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 equals. And that's going to equal 81. In contrast, the 4 here is attached to the 3. So it's negative 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So you can almost think of the negatives left by itself out there than the 3s. So that's going to be negative 81. Now this here, we have a division. 2 over 5 divided by 4 over 10. So in order to do this, we flip the second one. So we have 2 over 5 times, and we change it to a multiplication, 10 over 4. So there we're going to equal 20 over 20, which is n going to equal 1. All right, on to this one here. 
We're looking for calculate the unknown value. So first thing we're going to do is look for a pattern. So if you look from here to here, it's times 2. So the question is what number times 2 equals that? So the number that times 2 is equal to 10. And this one here, I like to rewrite it like such. I just like to see it a little better. 42. So the question is here, we times by 6 to go this way. So if we're going this way, we divide by 6. So 42, 42 divided by 6 is equal to 7. So that's what x is equal right there, 7. Now this one here is not quite the same. Since we there's no pattern, 7 doesn't go into 21 evenly. right? So first thing I like to do is I like to rearrange it. So I have x on top. So I'm just going to flip everything. 31 over 20. Then personally, I like to go 31 divided by 20. So 31 divided by 20 equals 1.55. So that's going to equal x over 7 equals 1.55. Now we're going to bring this over, and it's a divide on this side, so it's going to become a multiply. It's going to have x equals 1.55 times 7. And that equals, let's do it over here a little bit, 1.55 times 7 equals 10.5. So that's going to be an answer right there. Now, let's do these ones here. So, in order to go this way, we divide by 100. If we go around this way, we times by 100. In this case, we put this over 100. So, 40 divided by 100 is going to equal 0 0.4. The fraction is 40 over 100, which if you reduce it, equals 2 over 5. The middle step between there is 4 over 10. But there's our answer right there. That's a horrible circle. Now, this one here, let's times it by 100. So we're going to get 5.5. And this one here is over 100, but if we went over 100, we get a decimal place. It would be 5.5 over 100. Now that's a little messy. So let's cross that out. So let's go 55. We're going to go over 1,000. Over 1,000, which we can reduce to, what's that, 11 over 20 times 10. 200. Now this one here, we have to go 17 divided by 30. 13. So that's going to equal 1.3. And we're going to times by 100, which will give us 130%. Right, now, for these ones. So, application. So if I take a look at this, I know I have to do two things. One, we have to do a little bit of uh, subtraction here, so we need common denominators. Right? But at the same time, I'm going to make this an improper fraction, just because it's a little bit easier right away. So the way I do that, it's 2 times 5 plus 3. And that equals... 13. So 13 over 5. So I'm not really going to worry about that right now. Let's divide. And then we're going to go 7 over 8. 
And then we're going to go, okay, this needs a common denominator, so we're going to go to 8. So we're going to times this by 2. Minus, oops, 2 over 8. Which is going to give us 13 over 5, ta, oops, divided by uh, 5 over 8. Now, we need, we have a division here, so we have to do the reciprocal with the second one and make them multiply. So 13 over 5 equals, oh, not equals, times, let's fix that up, times 8 over 5, which is going to equal 25. And 8 times 10 is 80, plus 3 times 10, 3 times 8 is 24, so 80 plus 24 is 104. And there's our answer there. So, Ferd cuts the grass for 8 houses owns and earns $72. He wants to buy level 100 tickets for the Raptors game, which costs 513. How many lawns does he have to cut? So I'm going to figure out what he needs first. We're going to make that x. So this is lawns over money. So 513 is the bottom here. Equals, and we're going to go lawns over money here. So on the other side, we're going to do lawns over money. So we're going to go 8 divided by 72. Perfect. So now on this side, Actually, I'm going to move this guy over right now. So it's a divide on this side, so it's going to come over and become a multiply. So it's going to be 8 divided by 72 times 513. So x is going to equal, let's do my calculation, times 57 lines. He's going to have to cut 57 lines. And then we get full marks. We have to write bird needs to cut 57 lines to raise $513. Okay. okay. Ice cream parlor, two stores, 500 mils. For $5.99, well, the crematorium sells one liter for this. So we need a unit price. So I'm going to take it down to the milliliter, for lack of a term. And we always buy its price per unit. So that would mean I would do 5.99 over 500. For the other one, it's going to be 1050 over 1 liter has 1,000 milliliters. So I'll plug that in my calculator over here, which you guys don't see. So this is equal to 0 0.01198, while the other one is equal to 0 0.0105. So you can tell by that sense that this is your answer here. So next up is asking, it's asking us to say 35% of the students in St. James play on the sports team. 877 students, how many teams? So let's convert that into a number. So that would equal 35 divided by 100 gives us 35% of the number. So then we take that 35% by and we multiply it by the total number of students. Oh, I forgot the point, which might make a difference in my calculation a little bit. Show this over again. Boom. So, 307 students. 
play a sport. If I were to go back here, I would say Although I just realized I didn't spell cream right, I should have an E. Crematorium as the best price. All right, next one. Three players on the hockey team score 165 points in season. The player score ratio of 2, 3, 6. How many for each? So, first thing I have to do is total up the total ratio. So, that would be 2 plus 3 plus 6 equals 11. So we know those 11 parts. So we have to find out what one part is. So we take the total and we divide it by the number of parts. So now one part is 15. So we take the parts and then we multiply it by each player. So 2 for this player. There's 3 for this player. And there are 6 for this player. So there's your three scores. The players scored 30, 45, and 90 points. Lastly, Mia forgot to pay her bill, so the penalty for getting is 28%. Previous bill is this. What's on our next bill? So by going up 28%, her percentage is actually going to be 128% for her next bill. So we're going to change that into a percentage by going 128 divided by 100, which equals 1.28, and then we're going to multiply that by her previous balance of 76.54. And that's going to give us our answer. And lastly, we need to create a bed mask question. The key here is to read the question, where it says it must contain a fraction and it has a different number of operations. So for example, a question such as this, 2 over 3 bracket 3 over 5 divided by 2 plus 5, and let's say we do 2 plus 5 times 3. That would be a question that would be in this range here. And it depends on how you answer it to how well you do. If I were to draw something awesome, um, let me see if I can quickly draw something awesome here. I do believe this is pretty awesome because that happens in the ocean every day. All right, with that being said, that's awesome, and there's your review for quiz one.